All right, thanks, Jess. Kona Airport has reopened, but repairs will continue after crews discovered more cracks in the runway. Officials say millions of dollars will be poured into airports across the state. Christy Tomashiro follows up. The State Department of Transportation says crews noticed an 8-inch by 2-inch crack in Kona Airport's runway Monday morning, but by 2.30 p.m., it grew into a 3-foot hole, prompting a total shutdown of the airport. The DOT says the recent rain caused the issue. We found layers of water infiltrated into the pavement that caused or helped cause that shearing that occurred in that area. The DOT adds while crews worked overnight to repair the original hole, they discovered additional cracks. There's another area that we're going to repair tonight between midnight to 3 a.m. Um, there's cracking in the area, not as, not as concerning as what we fixed last night. The state says 26 flights were impacted, 9 Trans-Pacific, 17 Inter-Island, and 160 people were placed in hotels. The Hawaii Tourism Authority adds about two dozen people stayed overnight at Kona Airport. Yeah, I, I slept here last night <laughs> outside. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, so hopefully Delta and all the airlines can compensate. A lot of people were missing things and a lot of um, people who need help. The Kona Airport incident comes as the state says it's pouring millions of dollars into infrastructure projects. Kona Airport is up for a total repavement project costing $120 million, which is slated to begin in August. We could potentially have the contract set for us to start prior to summer, but if we do that, we're, we'll be in interrupting that summer peak through that area. So what we're doing instead is repairing these areas to ensure that we have a pavement that will last several years. The state says $130 million will go to Kauai's airport to expand capacity. Meanwhile, experts say maintaining infrastructure and runways are crucial for operations. If they hit places where there's really cracked, seriously cracked and crumbling um, surface, uh, you could potentially blow a tire, which is very uh, concerning and something going 150 miles an hour. The governor says the federal transportation director will be in Hawaii next month to assess the state's needs. Chrissy Tomashiro, K212 News, working for Hawaii.